Emily Cohen joins us live from the Inverness Club where businesses are hoping to cash in on the exposure. Emily? Yeah, well, white tents are set up all over Inverness and volunteers are here working hard to make sure everything is ready to go for tomorrow. Volunteers I talk to say they're so happy this week is finally here, especially after all the buildup and questions about if COVID-19 was going to cancel the whole tournament. Co-chair of hospitality with the Solheim Cup, Anne Marie Hinkle, has been working with vendors for the last 14 months to prepare and says they're so excited to be a part of this. She adds many of the volunteers also help with the Marathon Classic, so they were, they were able to generate a lot of buzz about the Solheim Cup. It's a tight-knit community and everybody's chipping in and helping everybody out to make sure that this is a win-win for the community, for the golfers, for the LPGA, and for Inverness. It's a great opportunity for everyone involved, including the city of Toledo. And local businesses are excited to show off to all the visitors heading to Toledo for the week. Reporting in West Toledo, Emily Cohen, WTOL 11.